Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Post fight thoughts on the Sean Porter versus Adrian Granados fight. Sean Porter wins the fight by unanimous decision against Adrian Granados. Uh, very interesting fight, man. You know, a lot of action, a lot of back and forth action. You know, Sean Porter was getting bullied for most of this fight. But what I didn't like was the fact that, and everybody knows Sean Porter's a dirty fighter, headbutting and just elbowing. Like, it's crazy the stuff that he gets away with. But when you're fighting Sean Porter, man, you can't get, you can't just sit back on the ropes, man. His arms, he got them T-Rex short arms, man. So he be throwing them bombs, man. That's where he was accumulating most of his punches, man, and most of his damage. Um, Granados did great, though, man. Uh, he bullied Sean Porter for most of the fight. Uh, he landed a couple bombs. He he definitely staggered Sean Porter on a couple of occasions, but Sean Porter kept his composure. But, I mean, Jesus Christ, Adrian Granado's chin is made out of steel, man. I don't – he was getting hit with some bombs, man. Both dudes got hit with some bombs, man. But, yeah, I, I had Porter winning the fight slightly, man, but they're trying to say Granado's lost every round. I don't know about that, man. I don't know what fight y'all was watching, but um, – Big ups to both of these guys. Uh, if I were Keith Thurman, I would opt to fight Sean Porter next. Especially considering it looks like Sean Porter may have hurt his left hand. And, you know, Sean Porter's going to do whatever he's got to do to get back in the ring uh, whenever Keith Thurman is ready. So if Keith Thurman is ready in, in February, Sean Porter will be there. But I saw Sean Porter didn't look that great tonight. He looked kind of He looked kind of bad in my opinion, man. He wasn't doing too much. He was doing a lot of running. Especially in the later rounds, man, he was doing a lot of running. I've never seen Sean Porter run that much in my life. He was getting backed up. Man, he, man, Sean Porter's a tough dude to fight, man. He's a dirty fighter. Um, I can't stand his style. He tackled, he tackled my homie in the in this, what was that, the eighth round? He tackled him. Like he literally speared Adrian Granados in the eighth round. He speared him. Like there was hella room between the two of these dudes, and he speared him. Like, I, what, what is you doing, Sean? <laughs> you know, but you saw Sean's face. You saw him get work tonight. Uh, he didn't knock out Granados. Uh, Granados will be back, man. He's going to be back. Uh, he de he definitely deserves another big name, man, because that was a great performance. Just a few things he got to work on, man, um, and polish up. Um, just just some of the distancing was a little bit off, man. He was throwing a lot of punches that were just missing their mark, man. But, you know, he didn't let Porter punk him even when he had him against the ropes, man. He was... Return the fire. He never got sta he never got dropped. Didn't get knocked out. Didn't get stopped. So good fight from Adrian Granados. Uh good fight from Sean Porter. I know um you guys are looking forward to that Sean Porter Thurman rematch, but Keith Thurman beat Sean Porter in the rematch. But like I said, Keith Thurman needs to act on this right now. He needs to take Sean Porter next because Sean Porter is looking shaky. Sean Porter injured himself. Or maybe they were faking the injury. I don't know. It looked, a matter of fact, let's rewind a little bit. Uh, Sean Porter made it seem like he got hit in his, uh, his nuts or something, man. He didn't get hit. It wasn't a low blow, man. He was faking, dude faking injuries in the fight, man. Acting like Keith Thurman, man. It is what it is. I ain't, I ain't going to be too salty, man. Uh, congrats to Sean Porter uh, for getting a unanimous decision victory over Granados. I don't think it was such a, a huge, like, wide margin in the scoring, but um, good fight, Granados, good fight, Porter, let me know what you guys thought of the fight, uh, let me know who you guys got winning the next fight, Wilder and, uh, Stavern. apparently Dominic Brazil stopped Eric Molina, or rather it was a TKO in the eighth round, I don't know why that fight wasn't on TV, but Sergey Lipinis looked pretty good too, uh, but it's been a really good card so far tonight, man, um, Lippin is just like, he's, he squeaked by, man. Um, I missed the, the the ending of the fight, but from what I heard from the scorecards, man, it was too wide of a margin, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, Brazil won. He's the number one contender for winner of Wilder Stavern tonight. Uh, Granados will be back. I'm sure he'll he'll get another big name, man, because that was a very exciting fight. Definitely, definitely a very exciting fight. And Porter, hopefully he's not injured, but... I think he took just enough damage tonight uh, for Keith. I know Keith Thurman is at home watching. I know Keith Thurman at home playing the flu, sitting sitting Indian style or whatever you call it, playing his flute, got the snake coming out the basket. Um, 
smoking some good weed, you know, and he probably like, yeah, I want to fight Sean in February. And he'll knock, he will, he's going to knock Sean Porter out. Mark my words, Keith Thurman will knock Sean Porter out in their second fight. Hitman Boxing, I'm rambling. Let me know what you thought of the fight. Uh, congrats to Sean Porter. Um, big ups to Adrian Granados, man. You did a good job tonight. Um, I was impressed. Even, even in defeat, you look good, man. Hit my box and I'm out.